Welcome to AI Bedtime Stories. Today I will be narrating a story called The Labyrinth of Lord Latimore. If you like these bedtime stories, please feel free to leave a comment. The story begins now in the quaint town of Lockshire during the late 19th century. There was an eccentric nobleman known as Lord Bartholomew Latimore. Latimore, aside from his vast wealth and the elaborate galas he held, was best known for his intricate garden maze, or labyrinth, as he preferred to call it. It was said to be the most challenging in all of England, with tall, looming hedges that seemed to change direction on a whim. One summer evening, a letter was sent out to various gentlemen and ladies in Lockshire. It read, To the esteemed, solve the labyrinth by midnight during the Grand Gala next week, and you shall receive a prize beyond your wildest dreams. Yours sincerely, Lord Latimore. The town was a buzz with excitement. Rumours circulated about the prize, with whispers of it being a chest full of gold, a rare artefact, or even a ticket to an exotic destination. Among the invitees was Detective Daniel Drayton, known for solving the most complicated mysteries. Though mazes weren't his usual purview, the challenge piqued his curiosity. Plus, he had always wanted to outwit the pompous Lord Latimore. The night of the gala arrived. Ladies in grand gowns and gentlemen in sharp tuxedos gathered, their eyes set on the looming entrance of the labyrinth. As the clock struck nine, Lord Latimore announced the opening of the challenge. One by one, guests entered the labyrinth, their lanterns flickering in the night. Detective Drayton, with his keen sense of direction, made headway. He navigated through tight corners, dead ends, and looping pathways. Hours passed, and many participants gave up, but Drayton pressed on. As midnight approached, Drayton, using his analytical skills, realized that the labyrinth's design was based on a story Lord Latimore loved as a child. With this revelation, he quickly found the center. But instead of a grand chest or a sparkling prize, Drayton found Lord Latimore seated on a lavish chair, a smug smile on his face, holding a platter. Congratulations, detective. Latimore exclaimed, You've won the grand prize. Drayton looked around, confused. Where is it? He asked, expecting more. Lord Latimore held up the platter, revealing a single, oversized, glittering, rubber duck. The rarest duck in my collection, he declared proudly. Drayton stared in disbelief. The guests, who had been watching the entire spectacle through a series of mirrors placed around the maze, burst into laughter. The stoic detective, realizing the jest, let out a hearty laugh. Well played, Lord Latimore, he said, accepting the rubber duck with grace. From that day on, whenever anyone in Lockshire wanted to play a trick, they'd say, give them the Latimore duck. And so, in the midst of grandeur and mystery, Lockshire found a chuckle, and Detective Drayton found a new, rather quirky, desk ornament.